Today we're going to learn how to create an Aitzel account if you haven't got one already and then how to use the teacher standards reflection tool which is something we're going to be looking at this term. So just head on to your browser and type in Aitzel and up comes the first hit the Australian Institute for Teaching and School Leadership. So we're just going to go right ahead and click on that. Now, if you don't already have a login, we're going to register. If you've got a login already, then we're going to head over to the same button, top right hand side and click register or login. Now, I've saved my login because I've obviously been here before. If you haven't been here before, head on down to the register to access Aitzel's full services. Now once you click on that then it will ask you to create an Aitzel account and fill in everything and then hit register and you'll very very quickly have an email sent to your email account and go into your email address to click on the confirm registration link and then that will shoot you back over to the Aitzel's home page where you then go back up to register or login and add in your email address and your password. Okay so once you've done that, once you've registered and you've gone to your email, you've confirmed it, come back over, press login, enter your email address, your password, click remember me if if it's your own computer or not if it's a shared computer and we, all, we always have to agree to the terms and conditions of the website so they're quite small but um, and sometimes I forget to click on those and it shoots me back so click click and then log in. So now once you've logged in it's going to take you across to oh bad request it's going to take you across to their home page so here I am on my home page and then we are going to just have a look at resources and tools. So if you just hover over the resources and tool, tools page. And what we want to do is we want to go down and have a look at the teacher self-assessment tool. So click on that one. Now this takes you over to a self-assessment tool that I've already started. So you can see that I've, I've clicked on this a few times. I actually haven't um, haven't finished it. So it's a your, know yourself and the standards. And what it is is um, you click on it. It's going to take you about 20 minutes. It saves where you're up to, so you don't have to do the whole 20 minutes in in one hit. You could sit down, do a few questions, go away, come back another day. So it's just for you, it doesn't go to anyone else except yourself and it just helps you look at what part of the standards you're really operating comfortably at and what part of the standards that you could focus on for this year so that when we come around to 2018 and all needing to become accredited and proficient that we know where we are and, and what we're doing. <clears throat> so. Um, it's clicked on and we're going to go in and process. So now mine's going to ask me lead teacherish questions because I've put down that I'm a lead teacher. And um, so off you go. You're going to give yourself, I think this is called a Likert scale. Um, I'm very wrong there. It's, it's hmm, some word that I will learn how to pronounce. But anyway, a five point scale. So we're going to go from either strongly agree to strongly disagree to agree to disagree or to neither agree or disagree. So um, anyway, I've got 52 questions to answer and they will take me through all of the different um, parts of our uh, teacher standards. So um, I'm going to click out of that. All right. So that's that one and we'd like everyone to engage with that um, in the next couple of weeks so that we can then bring that to a staff briefing, staff meeting and um, do some have some professional conversation around that. 
Just before we go, there's one other thing that, that I'd like you to do. I'd like you to hop on and just have a look. This is this fantastic resource. There's a teacher's landing page, professional standards. We've got um, illustrations of practice, classroom observation strategies. But the most fantastic thing is this little guy over here called the My Standards app. Now, what the My Standards app is, is it's a tool that you can do download onto your phone, both Apple and Android, and it holds the standards on there and you just then go ahead and enter in your um, email and um, AITSL account and then what you can do is you can click on, um, let's say you're looking at standard three, you can click on standard three and then you can upload from your Google Drive to your AITSL account. You can take videos, you can capture photographs and they will automatically be stored in that standard in your AITSL account. Now this is absolutely fantastic. When I've been um, taking uh, new grads through their accreditation, one thing that they often struggle with is pulling together um, documentation and evidence to support each standard and um, now that writing your report has become a lot better it's more global you still have to have evidence that you have um, addressed each standard so this little app if you're in your classroom and you go gee I've just taught this most amazing lesson and I'm um, I'm let's say standard one no students and how they learn let's say you, you think, okay, oh, this is excellent, this is an excellent um, piece of evidence for that standard, you're going to whip out your phone, take a photo, take a snippet of video, and it will automatically save in that standard in your AITSL account. So next year when we come to writing and our, our reports and uploading our evidence for accreditation, you will have a whole portfolio of documentation to support your accreditation at, at the touch of your fingers, which is just awesome. So I really encourage you to um, to get onto either Google Play or the Apple Store and download my standards onto your phone if you choose. Okay, thanks guys. Hope you're having a wonderful um, break and I look forward to seeing you soon.